Hi, this is Chitran Shaksana from Just Tutors. Today we will learn in this video about separation of substances. That what is separation and why we need to do separation of the substances in our day to day life. The objectives of this video will be and the only objective is introduction about separation of substances. So, means in this video we will just introduce ourselves with the topic that what it is and how, why it is important. Before learning, we will try some warm up questions of the pre assessment here to check our basic knowledge related to the topic. For trying these questions, you could pause the video and then check your answers after this on this next slide. Here are your answers for those pre assessment questions. If your answers are correct, then it means you have really good basic knowledge about the topic. Now we can start with the video in order to learn and add on to some more things to our knowledge. Very first thing, introduction. The topic as we know, separation of substances. So, <coughs> as the definition says here, separation means to extract the useful substances from a mixture. Means, let's say we have an ex uh, we have mixture of some components. To separate them, the, co the components of tho that mixture individually is known as separation that is extraction in many of the cases we have to separate a substance from mixture of materials as well let's say if I mix uh, um, some different types of cereals so in order if um, the mixture is uh, when we are mixing different types of cereals we will get a mixture and if we again going to get separate them the process we use to separate them is known as separation of substances and we we have lot many methods to separate those substances or materials about those methods we'll learn in the next video first we'll learn about what is separation few more examples we can take about separation and they may be separation of tea leaves separation of stones from the pulses or obtaining butter from milk yeah you may think of more examples on your own now, different components of a mixture are separated in order to either separate the unrequited components from a mixture or sometimes to separate more than one useful components from a mixture. Means to say, when we have a mixture, it's not necessary when we are separating the mixture in different components that all the components might be useful or all are waste. It may also may happen that some are useful, some are waste. So basically it says we may face two possibilities while the process of separation. The very first is that all the components we are getting after separation may be useful or few of them are useful and others are waste as it is written here on the slide. Let's move ahead. So let's discuss on the very first case that is if we are doing going through a process of separation the all the components we are getting are useful for us. So in few cases we just separate two components and both are of use. Let's take a real life example. Um, let's say we have a mixture of iron and sulfur. As you can see in this picture, this ball contains a mixture of iron, iron fillings and sulfur. We need to separate both of these things in order to get sulfur in individual container and iron fillings in the other container. So what we can do or what we did here, we used here a magnet because we know iron gets attracted towards a magnet so and sulfur does not. So when we uh, bring magnet near to this container, all the iron fillings will get attracted towards the magnet and it will get separated from the mixture. Then we can put all the fillings in, the, in this container and the sulfur will remain in the same container and we'll get two components of the mixture it is made up of. This is a process of separation and we can say this is one of the matter when we are going we have to separate iron fillings or some any uh, material which gets attracted towards the magnet. Now the other case we have just discussed on the last to last slide that the components getting we are getting after the process of separation they may uh, few of them must may be useful or few of them may be waste. So, in few cases, when we separate two substances apart, we want only one of the substance because the other one is 
useless or harmful for us. Let's take a real life example again for this case. You must have seen your mom or you must have done yourself as well while making tea to drink. So when all the ing ingredients are mixed up and it all the process of making tea is done, we pour it into the cup and we use a, a, a hand sieve to separate the wasted tea leaves so that we can separate it out from the and get a pure tea to get uh, which is drinkable for us so this is again a process of separation in which a component we get in cup that is liquid the a cup of tea is useful for us and the f uh, filtrate or the component we get in the hand sieve is waste for us and we just throw it out one more example we can think of like removing of the stones from cereals or grains some uh, let's say if you purchase some cereals or grains from market they may contain some impurities as uh, stones so in order to separate or to purify uh, having cereal which is ready to eat we need to separate those stones so this is again a separation of substances and those stones are waste for us we just throw them here are some practice questions for you. You can use all the facts and knowledge we have just learned in this video. And so that's all for this video. For more videos, you could log on to justtutors.com. Thank you.